chat to see what's going on. We're basically gonna have a whole day of melee. How y'all doing? Dude, it's gonna be great. I love like, I love good sets. I know we all do, and I feel like just every set's gonna be a banger. Sure. <laughs> no better way to ring in the new year than with some fine quality melee. Uh, all right. So we have a S Fob Zella first. Uh, S Fob kind of had a great year. One dream hack. Yeah. Very good. Didn't go through a lot of stuff. So we're all kind of curious, like, is that level actually sustainable? Right. Especially uh, for, like, that style of Fox. Of, you know, he's a little nutty with it. And it's like, when you see someone like that, you're like, can you do this always? Is yeah. this something you can do every day? Do we only see your highs? Yeah. You know, or, when you're the most prepared, or can you do it all year at more events? And, and were, were we talking DreamHack Austin? Is that near where SFOP, it, you know, was living or is living? It was the yeah. DreamHack that Mewtwo went to. DreamHack Atlanta. 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 Yeah. Atlanta. Okay. yeah, that one. Yeah. Do we have a confirmation on, um, like, these uh, player cams and ports are aligned, right? Zealot's red. <laughs> okay, I figured. Well, that, yeah, that's what sure. I thought, but all right, cool, cool. Um, so, yeah, he's got an early lead right now. Doing good. Oh, actually, I think so. that was a, a up throw up smash, and Zealot looked like uh, died away, teched in place. And I, that didn't look like it was follow up by the, the, the White Fox. I have looked at it again. I saw a recent thing. Um, from uh, Chef Rock, shout out to Chef Rock, shout out to Rock people, uh, who posted something about how up throw up smash. If you do a, uh, if you do like, a, particularly I think it was an SCI, you don't get anything. There's like a, there's, there's a, like ways to get out of like up to, up throw up smash to follow ups. Uh, Is it like yeah. SDI out and yeah, then they can't, they can't, like, they can't they're too far up. to reaction tech chase. Yeah, I wonder if it's the same thing for spaces. Not sure, but I just I like seeing uh, new things happen. Yeah, I definitely think that like Falcon can probably like wiggle out after that, but Spacey's can I probably. Think he wiggled out. You might be right. Yeah. Out. That's I, yeah. I doubt Fox can do that, but I am pretty sure that you can like make it far enough away that they like start getting hit by run up. Especially at zero. Yeah, right? and like I, they can if you're far enough away, like suddenly get up attack is way more scary and stuff, because um, you can't like run into crouch like you can if you you're have right. the setup right in front of them. Unless you have an ASDI button. Well, when, with that, anything's possible. There's just so much innovation with defensive counterplay nowadays. It's kind of crazy to see how much the game has evolved, especially with the defense. Because I feel like a lot of people talk about how people's punish game is so much better now, but at the same time, they're just evolving in how many ways they can prevent getting hit with slide offs yeah, I, and SDI. I actually think uh, openings for Jill are going to go up, right. not down. Uh, yeah, the way the game's right. going, I think it's like becoming more poke heavy. And like uh, things like run up grab and things are becoming more risky with time, right? Because um, people are just getting so good at avoiding like the big, big open up. So you kind of got to poke your way uh, into like outside of crouch cancel percent and kind of make things. Then you make things work. Yeah, because we've been killing yeah. each other since like 2014, but like yeah. people have only been sliding off since like 2017, 18. Yeah. I, I definitely think we should also pay attention to like the short ends. I feel like, I don't know, I haven't seen anyone. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like getting really hard to consistently cover those. Because I don't know if that neutral getup covered, you know, not shortening. You yeah, know? yeah, that was a hard read. No, Fox Recovery especially, but with Cody, I think, mm -hmm. um, has just been getting better and better. Uh, people are figuring out what the real mix-ups are. It's not just the old standard of 45 degrees up or down. <laughs> You yeah, know, it's yeah, like, yeah. No, there's, there's like so much more. <laughs> well, like that angle that S popped it, that was such a unique angle. I, I definitely didn't see that one a lot. Just like going to Battlefield in that really like weird shallow way. And the up tilt to cover the slide off there too. Ooh. People are figuring out ways to cover the new defensive counter that people have. It's really sick to see. Wow, actually Punish is a fadeaway Nair. For Smash, does get with Punish, does get much off of it. Yeah, a big thing you're gonna see in this matchup that's gonna determine like who wins in the Fox Ditto these days. This is something Zamu talked to me a lot about. Is uh, who converts better off of Drill and who can better converts better off of Shine. Mm -hmm. um, and that's a Drill. That's like the difference between Drill Shine, and then that goes into who converts better off of Shine. Or you know, if you're really nice with it, it's riskier. But like, you can get Drill Grab almost every time unless they start SDIing behind you and stuff. And like, the Fox who converts more Drill Grabs is probably gonna win. Right. See that slide off? Like, what can you actually do against something like that? Slide off, full, full fastball off. That also right here, that one second place was just really hard to cover. Back in the day, people would tech roll that. And then you'd see the other person get a conversion. But people are getting better at knowing when second place is just unpunchable. Yeah. Is it the rise of Uncle Punch and being able to like handle all of those situations and have the combo trees down perfectly? Yeah. But you can tell that they're very practiced, especially in the box today. He was here yesterday. He'll be here today too. Yeah. He was watching Star Trek in the bedroom. On the CRT. Yeah, Uncle CRT. Punch? Yeah, yeah, Vin's here. 
What? He's NYC. Uncle Bunch was That's our boy. Yeah. I'm now. Oh. That's a, a new new life goal. <laughs> yeah, the yeah. Met goals we'll, change. We'll connect you. I, had, yeah, I'm trying to. Are you kidding me? He regularly enters tournaments in both majors and local tournaments with just really weird tags. People don't recognize him. So he entered a Smash Con, I think, as a something infinite, and then he entered a New Jersey regional as Tony Pepperoni. Once. Tony Pepperoni. <laughs> that's good. Dude, it's because this is like the tech hub of the world. We had Fizzy on the mic a couple weeks ago. All right, yeah. right. Well, I don't know. It's the SF, underground SF tech SF hub. Usually, too. But I feel you. Yeah, but we have all the uh, we have all the the nerds, the hackers, <laughs> the, nerds. <laughs> the nerds. We do. Shout outs to the nerds. Okay. This whole nice. set's been pretty back and forth. It's been hard to tell who's gonna actually win. I can't believe S Fop just got away with a wave dash forward against a fox back here on shield. And now we see some top platform movement, holding the pressure. Tries to oh, no. be an angle, tough. That shallow angle Beautiful. is tough to cover. Dude, these shallow angles are like, they're the new angles, man. I know, because like even the, even up front, like high and low is basically a 50-50 if you're in the Fox Ditto. And then it's like you have all these subtle, more 50-50s beyond that. It's like a fractal with all the little oh, like, fractal. like uh, notch and box angles that you can get that just change like whatever you're trying to cover it by one degree here or there. It's just so crazy because I feel like the old like crazy mangle that everyone was like, this is the best angle. It was like the really like almost straight up, but barely not. And then you mix up your drift. Mm -hmm. But now people aren't doing that at all. Now they're just riding the wall even a tiny bit. It's because they've learned that you can just dash attack or cover with like double jab or even forward smash. And people have developed more counterplay to it. So they have to adapt. Yeah. And then after all that, you're going to see like towards the end of the set, someone's just going to go straight and kill the other guy for it. Good Because they're so used to everything ride. else. Like, overall, these guys haven't been in each other that hard. And I don't think it's because they're bad at punish game. I think it's because they're both good at defense. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like that fast fall into side V. Well, like, we haven't definitely seen the zero death, right? We haven't even seen, like, like almost everything has been, like, 10, 20% at a time. Yeah, this 90% might have been, like, the fastest Eight, I've seen a stock maybe? occur, like, yeah. yeah. I'd every, love to see the stats on this. Yeah, it's a lot of openings. Every side B is a dench cancel. It is. This, this is repeat. This is, I feel like, is the first like traditional edge guard. This is one while. where it looks like it's not that crazy. To actually, yeah, to that, the stock. that could have been another year. Um, <laughs> yeah, I feel like you're seeing a lot of them like trying to cover the ledge with aerial and then just being like even reading it, but then just being a little late or a little early. Fourth throw. Tries to go for the cheese. Yeah. Oh. I love that down smash, actually. It would have sent Yo. so far if he didn't hold down. Would have killed. This is a... Uh, that spot does just gets own. I think... No, I'm a little worried, because, like, those were some raw up smashes on a 16% Fox. Which isn't, like, if it hits, it'll hurt, but... It's not going to end the game, you know what I mean? And you're taking a big risk. To, that feels nervous to me. I think you just want to get into knockdown as fast as possible and just rely on your tech chases. I think that might be why they're going for the up smashes like a little earlier than we typically see. Like right there, went for an up smash at 15%. Yeah, I think what principally more worries me is more like doing the same up smash twice. You know what I mean? That smells of desperation. Yeah. There's a lot on the line. Uh, Loser gets eliminated. What SJ told me uh, about Ooh. like, he's like, all you have to do to be clutch is just wait for them to do something dumb. Yeah. Most of the time. He's like, look, last stock, people just make Hail Marys. That's what better playering is, really. Yeah, you just like wait. And just try not to be nervous because they will be. Yeah, like that up smash. It, I definitely something, oh man, I was talking to Nico a lot about this, where he was like, People nice. play and they're playing neutral and then they just commit because they kind of just feel like it's time without like a great reason sometimes. They're like, ah, I got to do it eventually, right? There's a drug foxism about that where it's like the better player is the one who's like comfortable when nothing's happening. And you guys, are, you guys have probably all felt that. Like when you're like way better than someone, when like nothing's going on, you're not like freaking out. But when you're against someone who's way better than you, you're kind of like, I, should I dash attack? You're like, yeah. <laughs> should I just like go Because the better in? a player is, the, the like greater their threat range is. Yeah. So like, they can just be on the other side of the stage, and you're and like, you're still scared. <laughs> you're yeah. freaking out. 
I saw a fiction tweet about this, about like the ignorant bliss nice. of the mid-level player on Unranked who just decides to randomly run in and full hop Nair with no rhyme or reason whatsoever. And that's how they play neutral. Okay, full hop there is so good though. It it beats all it beats all other short hop like and full hop <laughs> options. <laughs> Commentators curse. You just got killed for it. On unranked. <laughs> On unranked. On unranked. Yeah. Addendum. It is tough. Like I feel like when I'm playing a fox that I'm like confident against and they're lasering, like I'll take 30% in lasers if I know that eventually I right. can get my grab. But then I'll play like any fox who I know is good, and I'm just like terrified. They're lasering. I'm just spamming dash attack. I'm like, ah, I gotta hit you eventually, right? Yeah. It's tough out here. Something's got to Game hit. five. Game five. Game five. I feel like that it's makes very sense. Evenly matched. This just looks like one of those 50-50s. I love how it's so early in the day that we, the only person like close enough to the crowd is Zuppy just intently studying these two foxes, getting ready for a set. Ooh. Well, up here, what do we have? A lot of missed techs from SFOP early on. And not a great recovery. I like uh, covering the ledge for the short end there, but... That was an ugly stock from SFOP. Yeah. Missed like 10 techs, and then like, we talk about how good the defense was, not that stock. Yeah, and he almost got like the reversal. He got back on stage, he was closer to center, and it still just ended up getting full hot bared back off. That was a gimme, like good players are, go are gonna take that stock. As good as... You know, Zelt did to actually clean it up at the end of the day. That defense was real poor. But we have, okay, side B's into. Some pressure. A lot of power shields. Nice. Oh. <laughs> the clank of smash it. didn't matter. That's truly Fox privilege. The move clinks with the shield and still gets the hit anyway. Okay, to be fair, I think it was clanking with the shine, which is also Fox or privilege. Shine, no shield. So yeah. we really, like, are on We're layers of privilege here. Deep in it. It's reverse oppression Olympics. Honestly. <laughs> Boy, you ever get the thing where you jab and Fox up smash, clank, and beats it? With jab with Mars? Yeah, you jab because you think the Fox is at like, high percent is going to run in. And no. you just up smash, clank, and beats I it. I haven't had that. I've been playing the game for 21 years. What, what you're jabbing Fox up smashing now? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Like, that sounds like a personal you're problem. You're jabbing neutral? <laughs> I don't do that. Maybe, maybe you got me on that one. Ooh, look at that slide off. Yeah, that was beautiful. good. I definitely feel like. Ooh. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, oh my god. Oh, oh, another one. Oh, he's gonna do it. Oh, okay, <laughs> relax. Okay, okay. Jeez. I feel All like right, you get two awesome. stocks if you hit that. <laughs> that was good. If there's a way to get back in the game, it's with that. Yeah. Let's not forget, S Fop is a combo uh, exactly. video master. He needs to put himself in his elements and friends. I do like how after, though, the combo dropped, he was like, all right, I'm just fishing for back air now. <laughs> it's over. Back to, I got my clip. Back to reality. Mm -hmm. Up throw tries to fall. Thought it would go to platform. I think he was looking for the slide off. Yeah, Zelt's it's... been so good at making sure that he does not get platform follow up. Yeah, Every time he is in clutch mode. Are you seeing this? That's uh, all of a sudden the speed is like 2x. He was down a stock, and he just totally turned it up. Way faster Ooh, look now. At this, yeah, look at this control from center. Not letting him back in. Oh. Okay, okay. Went for the double bear, right? The bear, the ledge. Do doesn't lose center though, and that's the key. Mm -hmm. Had them oh. out center this entire time. Nice. Oh, wow. They're finally reading the shallow angle. That was all right, but I mean, you can Omsa, uh, you can Armada shine in that situation after that back air. So it was good to still get it. Maybe you can Armada shine in this situation, but they're game five. They're right. <laughs> right. You got they're it. holding on. I'm just saying they're pretty good. Nice. I love the drill up tilt because you guys were talking about like the SDI behind. That's some Cody stuff. Mm. That brawl up smash left us so much percent. Oh, see, full hop there. Let's go. <laughs> All fans in the chat. Loving it. Where's Cody? He's at the tournament. Might win. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. Shine D tilt. Predict the Such a tech. reversal. That was the fastest match. I don't think losing this. I'm just seeing the pace of play. Oh. And Spot's looking so good. Now it's got center. Zell get out. Hasn't been able to get out for a whole game, pretty much. Gets out with a ledge dash. Ledge dash pair. I'll do it. I feel like this feels a lot better. Like, I feel like all the pressure of being down. Like, if you know there's only one more stop. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, wait. Never mind. That's a lot of damage. Well, the up to the cycle, all that momentum. Oh, this could be this tech I was so excited for Zell. Tries to ledge dash for, for the tournament, basically, right here. Look at this ledge nice. dash. Hits it. Hits it. 
Nice. Just didn't end up mattering. Wow, great set. Mm -hmm. Wow. That'll wake you up. That's a cup of coffee. That was pretty good. Yeah. This set has started, you know? That was an amazing way to start the beginning. Yeah. Though we did start late.